hello, my name is Leo, and we are back. And let's continue talking to Indexon. Uh, how's the moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the ancestor that moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. But moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priest to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal auger and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. So I'm, I'm trying to talk to someone. You shouldn't do that. Bad girl. Sorry, Jackson. Women, you know. <laughs> what? What? No, I, no, I, I didn't mean you. I meant, uh, I mean, oh jeez, don't hurt me. It's alright. Okay. Alright, uh, so how does that help the moth priest? By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only augury. the most resilient of priests can that do is it not this a way. Word. It takes years you of are no linguist, you cannot make words up like that. Then how do we even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Mm, I did. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. Mm. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Oh. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Can you... What are you doing? What are you doing? You've got the weirdest face right now. What, what the? What? What the? <laughs> what is this, amnesia? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <sighs> she just totally disappeared. Is it normal for moth priests to is it normal for moth priests to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Preparation's the key, you know. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Wow, <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> that sounds like... <laughs> well, it just proves to me that you shouldn't read, which is why I never read. <laughs> Ever. <sighs> but it's for losers. Right, so I think I've talked to this guy enough. So Fortune smile upon you, my lady. Yes, call me that. Oh, who's my doggy? My doggy. Who's the doggy? 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 You're my dog, but... Your dog started with B. Okay. Meanwhile, after discovering that Dexter has become blind, I had to secure alternate means to decipher the Elder Scrolls and locate Ariel's bow. It has been suggested that I might be able to read the Elder Scrolls myself if I use an ancient technique described in the original by the original Moth Priest. I am now on my way to a place known as the Ancestor Glade to discover the origin 
of the mysterious ritual. I wish Orfjolf and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. Nice. So yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, I should almost pause it for the loading screens. Is that how, what percentage of the, oh god, is that too Ah, shiny light. That's when I'm a vampire again. Yay. Okay. Because, yeah, seriously, what, what percentage of the 10 minute episode is taken out from freaking loading screens? At least a minute. That's 10% right there. She actually can it. How many how long it takes. Alright, let's see where we're gonna go next. Alright. Well uh what's that? Right. Here that the next part of the main story quest is Oh there it is. Okay. Okay, alright, so let's we're gonna go down there. So from our current location where do we go? Kill the bat later. It's really not a lot on this side of the map. I can kill the bandit later or I can go do as as band whatever his name is. Oh, that's got as band. Yeah. Alright. That's my door. It's rad. It's rad on my skeleton horse. My skeleton. 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 Horseton. Damn. This game is making me sleepy. I don't know what it is. This game is really good at making me sleepy. Climb! Climb your horse! You can do it! You know the best part about this horse is? If it falls off a ledge and dies, I do not give a damn. Normally I care a lot for two reasons. One, because that's a thousand gold bracelet, which isn't a big deal for me, because I can just buy another one. But the big problem is that if that happens, I then have to walk the rest of the way and buy another horse out of the stable. I'd be alright if I fast travel, but I don't fast travel. So that's a problem. But with this, oh, my prayers have truly been answered. I can, I can, I can on purpose jump down cliffs now. Who cares if the guy that had the horse dies? Spawn me another one. That's what I'm talking about. I 
I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just. Part of my shield and of an achievement. Yay. Yay for achievements. So, I wonder what this does. Your thin cuts through flesh, shadow shells, green. Essence fears zombie, essence tears zombie. Okay. Oh no! Damn you! Okay. And I gotta pause it. When we come back, we will continue this uh, this game. <laughs> My name is Larry.